Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you all are doing well. So today I'm going to talk about IELTS. So I'll basically cover topics like what are the different sections, how I prepared for the test, what are some of my tips and tricks, what is the marking scheme, etc. Now I am going to try and make this video as useful as possible. I even posted in some of the Facebook IELTS groups uh, and a lot of people asked me questions and I'm going to try and answer them all in this video. Now I don't know as to how short or how long this video is going to be. I might even split this video into two parts where I cover two sections in this video and the other two sections in my next video. I don't know, I will just go with the flow. So IELTS stands for International English Language Testing Systems. Now if you didn't already know, IELTS is an English testing exam. So if you belong to a non-English speaking country and you want to go abroad to a country like USA, UK, Canada, which are English speaking countries, uh, for study or work purposes, then you are required to take this exam. Uh, there's also other English speaking exams like um, PTE, TOEFL, but I don't know much about those exams, so I'm not going to get into that. Now IELTS cost about uh, 11,300 Indian rupees. It is co-owned by British Council and IDP. So both British Council and IDP conducts the individual IELTS test. Now I know there has been a constant discussion out there as to which one of the two is better. I took my test with British Council and I did have a really good experience and my result was good as well. So I'll say that British Council is good. But I'm not saying that IDP is bad, I just do not have any experience to comment on. Now the test is divided into four sections, namely listening, reading, writing and speaking. I'll probably just cover listening and reading in today's video. And before I get into that, I want to say that I took my IELTS last month on 13th of October and my speaking was conducted on 17th of October. I got my result on 26th and I received the hard copy of my result on 28th of October. So that is my timeline. I was really surprised when I received my score because I thought I had given a really bad performance but my scores tell otherwise so I was really happy. But I was a little disappointed with my speaking score and I will tell you what went wrong when I cover the speaking section. Also, I'll add an image uh, on the screen to show you what my scores are. Okay, so starting with the listening section, this is my most favorite section on the test and I think it is the easiest section on the test. But I also know that a lot of people struggle with this section. I wouldn't say this is a difficult section, I think it's just a little tricky. So the listening section has a total of 40 questions and it is uh, divided into four parts of four sections. Now this section is completed in 30 minutes and then you are given about 10 minutes of time to transfer your answers from your answer booklet to your main answer sheet. And also the questions will be in the same order as the recording is being played so you do not have to worry about that. My main tip for this section is that you pay proper attention to the recording, clear your mind of all the thoughts and just concentrate on the conversation that is taking place. Now you will be given 30 seconds of time uh, before a recording is being played. So make good use of that time and uh, look at all the questions properly and try to predict answers. Also you will be given another about 30 seconds to check your answers after every mid section and section. But I would suggest that instead of going back and checking those answers, utilize that time to go ahead and read the uh, next question so you will get more time to read the questions and prepare yourself. Unless you think it, you really need to check your answers, then please go ahead and do that. Some of my basic tips for this section is that make sure you write the correct spelling because if you write the correct answer and your spelling is incorrect, then your answer will be marked wrong. So make sure you write the correct spelling and also make sure if there is any word that is being spelled out, then you will be expected to write the exact spelling that is being spelled out. So make sure you do that. Also, keep in mind that um, you do not exceed the word limit that is being mentioned in the instructions before the questions. So they'll usually write one word only or three words only. So please stick to that. If you don't, then you will lose marks again. 
also check for any change of information so well while, while there's a conversation taking place uh, the person might end up changing the information that they give and this usually happens in section 1 and section 2 so for example they would say my number is uh, 567 and then after a moment they'll say no no it's not 567 it is 576 so the correct answer will be 576 and you will be required to write that answer so just be attentive and make sure that you um, look out for any such changes in the exam also get used to different pronunciations of numbers and words so in this test there will be uh, a different kind of accents that are being used for example british american australian so familiarize yourself with these accents and become more comfortable so that you do not feel lost while uh, listening to the conversation in order to get a high score in this section, you must, must and must get all answers correct in section 1 and section 2 because they are very easy and I know section 3 and section 4 are difficult and you might end up making mistakes there. So to cover for that, you must get all the answers correct in 1 and 2. So when it comes to section 3 and section 4, as I said, they are difficult. They give a lot of information and you might end up feeling lost as you are trying to look out for an answer. The strategy that worked for me in this section is that instead of trying to just listen for the answer, I just paid attention to the entire conversation that was taking place and that helped me to easily locate the answer um, that is being set out. So I know it might not make much sense while I'm talking about it, but uh, while you're practicing, do give it a try. Listen to the entire conversation properly, give it all of your attention and you will be able to find the right answer. So hopefully that method should work for you. It did for me. Try not to be nervous and just relax. This section is very easy to score. So don't be very stressed. Even if you miss out a uh, answer for a question, just move on to the next question and try to be calm. Moving on to the reading section, I know this is one of the most difficult section on the test. Uh, again, reading section contains 40 questions and you are given one hour of time and it has three passages. So basically you get 20 minutes for each passage. Time is essential for this section so you have to practice a lot and make sure that you learn to manage your time. Now there are various strategies that people recommend for this section. Some people say that you should first read the questions and then move on and read the passage. Some people say that you should first read the passage and then move on to the questions while the others say there's no need to read the passage at all. Now what I'll say is don't listen to any of them. Do what you are comfortable with because a method that is going to work for others is not necessarily going to work for you. So try all of these techniques and see which one works out for you. For me, I was not uh, comfortable with reading the questions first and then reading passage. I prefer the method of first reading the passage and then reading the questions because what happened was when I first read the questions and then moved to the passage, I would immediately start looking for answers instead of trying to understand what the passage is about and then I would end up wasting a lot of time. Whereas when I first read the passage, I would get a little gist of it and then it would become easier for me to locate the answers. But it's not necessary that this method is going to work for you. So as I said, try all the methods and see what works out the best for you. Some of my other tips for this section would be uh, underline the keywords. So while you're reading the passage, just underline the main keywords that you think might be important and that will help you easily locate the answers. Remember, you must learn to skim and scan. So skimming is a method where you quickly run your eyes through the text without reading each and every word and try to get an overview of the text and this method is very time saving and it also helps you easily understand what the passage is trying to say and scanning is a method where you look through the passage in search for a particular fact or a detail for example a year a person's name or some other detail so these two methods are very important and you must uh, learn to implement them while you are uh, doing your reading section 
when you read the question and try to understand what it's trying to say and then look for a similar statement in the passage this method usually works out for true false not given or fill in the blanks type of questions because there, you will never be given the same statement in the passage as it is in the question it is always going to be a similar statement or a synonym so for example in the question it says um, in the year 2001 blah 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 uh, you will usually find a, a, a statement in the passage which says uh, in the beginning of the 21st century blah 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 so just make sure that you are familiar with how to look for similar statements in the passage another thing is understand the different type of questions that are going to be asked like true false not given fill in the blanks yes no not given uh, match the headings etc and try to build a strategy in order to tackle those questions now honestly during my uh, reading test i think i had skipped about five to six questions and i uh, had performed really badly is what I think uh, so I'm not going to recommend any of my uh, strategies to you guys but I will mention some links down in the description so make sure you check those out reading section is all about trial and error you have to see what technique or method works out the best for you don't blindly follow somebody else's suggestion or strategy see if it works out for you and only then you implement them while you are practicing and you have to practice a lot that is the only key to perfection so i think that is all i have to say for this video if you have any questions at all then feel free to ask me down in the comments and try to reply to them in the comments or i'll cover those topics in my next video if you found this video useful then do give it a big thumbs up and mention it down in the comments. Please do share my video with your friends who are preparing for IELTS. Hopefully this video will be useful for them. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned till next week where I will cover writing and speaking sections. Until then take care. Bye guys.